Hello and welcome to episode 22 of Sun Daisy's Purple Podcast. I'm Angie, also known as Sun Daisy 920, and this is Leo, also known as the cutest cat in the world. And he doesn't want to be up here. Alright, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me. If you're new, thank you for giving me a try. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back each week. Uh, today has been crazy. And I um, wasn't sure if I was going to record, but I decided to go ahead. Show must go on. But um, I don't have a lot. I have a couple things on my claws. Two things off of my claws. Uh, not a lot of purrs, it's a few purrs. And then I will in some patch talk about the crazy day. So let's get it going. <laughs> Alrighty, on the call. I've been doing a lot of Christmas knitting. And I haven't, I don't feel like I got very much done. But I'm still working on my first little mini noodle. I have his ears attached. I can get him out of here. There he is. And I have all three of his. Well, he needs more. And I have his arms and legs over there somewhere. Oh, but I got all of his limbs except for one. I gotta do one more arm and then I can attach all his limbs and he will be finished. So and as I've said before, I've made this one with the leftover sock yarn from my rainbow explosion socks. It's the Cyborg Craft Room Unicorn rainbow glitter light. It's sparkly, but you can't really see the sparkles. But if you were here, you could see the sparkle. So I got that done. And one down, three to go. And then last night, I wanted a little break from Christmas knitting, so I worked on my socks. <laughs> I worked on my mon my crazy monkey socks. It's a free pattern. It is an adaption of um, Cookie A's monkey socks, but they're done toe up. It's called the Crazy Monkeys. And I'm knitting it. This actually, when I started, this was on and I forgot to take it. But I did two repeats, so last night. So, and this is Monster Kerfuffle. No Makers Monster Kerfuffle. And I really, really, this is the first time I've knit socks with her sock yarn, and I'm really loving it. I think her yarn, her sock yarn, and the Cyborg Craft Room sock yarn. Those are my favorites. So, if you haven't tried them, you really should. This is Monster Kerfuffle. It's actually a Halloween color, and I'm knitting it <laughs> during Christmas. And I'll be knitting my Christmas socks after Christmas, probably. But I don't care. I will wear my Christmas socks after Christmas, and I will wear my Halloween socks after Halloween. I don't care. So that is all I have currently on my needles, but like I said, I have a lot of them. Um, Christmas knitting I need to get to, so I probably, once I finish this noodle, I'll have to start another noodle. I need to get the yarn caked up for my brother's stepdaughter's cow. I need to order the yarn for my dad's hat, or my brother's hat. Yeah, I got a lot to do. <laughs> so that's all that's on the needle. And I did finish two things this week. They are little gifts. The 
first with my snowball buddy. I make the little mouse. Pretty cute. I didn't have a pink nose, but I did have some felt, so I just glued them up. And I used uh, little beads for the eyes. I don't know if you can see. Here you go. So, and this is a Susan Claudino pattern. It's called Snowball Buddies. And with the one pattern, you can knit the mouse, you can knit a rabbit. Um, reindeer, an owl, and some of them have hats, and some of them have scarves, and then this one has a sweater, and you can mix and match them, and so it's a really cool little pattern. And then I also knit this is the ornament, but it is a zombie. It's a zombie. Zombie the Podcaster by Megan Williams, I believe. And I think I got her name right. But she's the one of the Stockin' It Zombies podcast. And I knit this. I used. This is all Dancing Dog Dye Works. And this, everything except the gray is Dancing Dog Dye Works. And the gray is Knit Picks Palette, I believe is what it's called. And this is all Nancy Dog Dye Works. And these are two little things are for um, a swap I'm in. But I'm really pleased with the way she turned out with her little dress. And she's got little bloomers on. <laughs> so, yeah. and I knew I was going to make her mouth kind of mean looking, but I couldn't do it. So, that's all I have on my clock. And you'll probably see a lot of cats, I think, <laughs> today because it is very cold and windy and rainy outside today. So a lot of them are hanging out inside. Hopefully we won't have any fights. And it pains me to admit this, but I think my cute little Luke might be the instigator on a lot of stuff. I know, he's so cute. How can he be responsible? Look at him. Look at that face. Look at that face. He's so cute. But I've caught him being mean to a couple cats and he was instigating the trouble. Because you can't just assume he's innocent because of that cute little face. Alright, that's all I have for Off My Claws. And I guess we will go into... Yeah, first. I really don't have a lot of like purchases, <laughs> but I thought I'd share a couple things. Um, the first, I did buy one thing this week. I'm getting ready to knit my Rocky Coast cardigan, and I bought some Lion Brand Fisherman wool at our Michaels, and I had a 50% off coupon, so I got one skein half off. So. Oh, and this is in the oatmeal colorway, and I believe it is 100% wool. Yeah, it's 100% pure virgin wool. So I'm getting ready for that. So, it'll be interesting to make my cardigan. And then the only other thing I wanted to share with, I don't know if y'all remember a while back, I was listening to Dracula on um, just the books. And um, I finished it, and it was really good. And when I was on vacation, I had downloaded um, on their other little sister side or whatever on Craftlet. They had um, Frankenstein, and I had started listening to that. But then when I got back one night, I couldn't sleep, and so I just started reading it on my phone. And I've just been reading, reading it instead of listening to it. And I, it's like way better than I thought it would be because whenever I think of Frankenstein I think of like you know you see the mad scientist in the you know deserted castle you know high and you know it's dark and you know it's alive <laughs> so 
but this it's it's a lot different than you know that I don't want to give anything away in case anybody wants to read it but if you like readings you know I guess the classics or and you haven't checked that one out I really highly recommend it and I'm not somebody who likes a lot of scary things but this it, it's not scary at this point I'm on like I think chapter 10 or 11 I mean and it's been creepy at times but it's really good I'm really enjoying it so you can either listen to it on um, Craftlet or you can just read it and I got the book on my Kindle uh, for free so I just thought I would throw that out there in case anybody wants to check it out and then the other thing I wanted to mention was Tomorrow is, um, this is definitely a her. Tomorrow is the 50th anniversary of the Doctor. And I will definitely make sure I'm at home to watch that. And, um, I was going to wear a Doctor Who shirt today, but it was cold and then it was crazy this morning. And anyway, I'll talk about that later. But, um, I wanted to mention that if you're planning to watch Doctor Who and you would like something to knit you should check out CC Almond has a new sock pattern it's called Socks 10 and it is based off the Doctor number 10 and here we go I don't know if you can see that good. It's probably not showing that good, but I will link it. But if you buy it now, you can go down here. Okay, so in, until Wednesday, December the 4th, um, this pattern, after this, okay, let me read from the beginning. For the first two weeks until Wednesday, December, December the 4th, 2013, at midnight central time, after this pattern releases, after you purchase this pattern, send me a private message on Ravelry. Ravel, I can't say that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And with your username, with the username of one person you want to give this pattern to, and I will gift it to them for free. So you get it, you can gift it to your friend for free. So I haven't gotten it yet. I probably wait till after the holiday. So CC, I'll I'll get it after the holidays. Okay. Because I'm not gonna have time to knit it right now. I gotta concentrate on my holiday. But I wanted to let y'all know that she does have another sock pattern out. And also, if you don't know, she also has another um, Doctor Who themed and sock pattern. It's called Rescue Rescue Me Chin Boys and Show Me the Stars. So you might want to check that out. If, you know, if you don't like the about talks for 10, which I can't believe you wouldn't because they're awesome. Anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know, and if you're planning to watch the Doctor Who special, I hope you enjoy it. I hope I enjoy it. <laughs> and I guess we will go to Sun Patch, and I will let y'all know what's been going on. Alrighty, if y'all follow me on Instagram, then you probably know that my dog Hope hasn't been feeling too well. And I'll probably put a picture of her before this. So the dog you just saw is Hope. And um, she's been sick. Like, she hasn't acted sick, but she's been vomiting more than normal. And uh, it's just. You know, just getting sick too often. So I finally, I took her to the vet because at first I just thought she was eating something she shouldn't because she loves to eat and is always getting into the trash and stuff. So, but as the longer it went on, I just thought mm, this isn't right. So I took her to the vet Wednesday, and the vet thought that it, she just you know ate something and it was just kind of working its way through. So we got some special food and some um, stuff to kind of help it pass, <laughs> and um, some medicine for the nausea. 
And so she was fine Wednesday, you know, gave her food and medicine and everything. But then Thursday morning, she just, like, she's really a, like, a happy, crazy peppy dog. And she just was, like, laying around. And she did eat that morning, but then when we got to work, she offered her cat food and she didn't want it. And that's pretty strange because this is a cat that I've caught. You know, she was jumped up onto the table where we keep the cat food and gotten into it. So that was a little troubling. But I thought, well, maybe the medicine and everything is just, you know, working and, you know, she'll be better, you know, today. Well, this morning, no. Still not acting good. So I call and they're like, well, you know, bring her in. So I brought her in. They do blood work and ultrasound and that vet the one I worked for she thought that she had like, um, something in her and she might still but a, a block like something like she ate something she shouldn't have and it was stuck on her stomach basically and her having a surgery is not like a normal dog because of her if you are a new viewer I talked about it when I talked about hope but um when we first found her, she had a hole in her diaphragm and her heart, I mean, her intestines and her, and her intestines and I, like what stuff that shouldn't, and organs that shouldn't be, were up by her heart and lungs. And she would have died if we hadn't had the operation to put all her organs in place. She could be freaking puppy. <laughs> but, um, so... You know, it was a risky surgery, and she pulled through, thank you, dear Lord. And, um, so, but it's still real, to cut her open and do anything, you know, you, there's a risk that her lungs could collapse. And so it's kind of scary, but, so I took her, so we decided that I would take her to the vets that did the original operation, because they're a bigger veterinarian, and they have more resources and stuff. So I took her there this morning after spending about an hour so my, my regular vet and this vet is not ruling out that she has something in her stomach but she's more leaning towards that it's pancreatitis and that she took more blood for hope <laughs> she poked and prodded so much today and um so she took more blood and that she did test positive for the pancreatitis. So poor little Hope is staying the weekend at the veterinary clinic and they're going to give her fluids and medicine and see if, you know, that, if that is what the problem is and go from there. So hopefully she will be okay and it's just pancreatitis because I'm really not wanting her to have surgery. So I guess if she needs it then well deal with it but anyhow so yeah this morning was pretty roller coaster you know not sure what's going on is she gonna have to have surgery and yeah it was pretty crazy so that's what's going on with hope so i hope hope is okay and i hate that she has to stay up there all weekend but it's for the best so anyways so that's what's been going on in computer. Um, been going on around here in the sun patch, and um, yeah, I guess that's it for this week. I'm not sure if it's about usual. It's probably about usual. It always ends up. I always think it's gonna be like super short, and it's always about <laughs> 17, 20 minutes. But um, thank you for everyone who's um the kind thoughts and prayers and everything that y'all have all sent on Instagram and everything. I really appreciate it. And I will let y'all know next week how she's doing. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see pictures or updates or whatever. So anyway, y'all have a great week. Oh, and if you're an American, living in America, and you're going to celebrate, I guess you could celebrate it if you don't live in it. But, um, next week is Thanksgiving, so those who are celebrating, happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you'll have a 
great time with family and friends or just chilling at home and <laughs> enjoying the day off. Y'all have a great week, and I will see y'all next week. Bye.